Hey guys, welcome back to Boxer Gaming. Uh, ooh, hello. And Tech Kid. <laughs> come here, come here, you. So, uh, as some of you might know uh, and noticed, when I uploaded uh, episode 60, there was no sound. And that is because my computer was being a D. <laughs> uh, yeah. I had just installed a new graphics card uh, because, you know, I wanted to bring even the newest games and the highest quality for you guys. And somehow DX Story decided not to recognize my microphone anymore. And I usually check for this every time. Uh, so I, I do quality checks on my videos anyways. But because um, I've never had problems with sound, um, I, did, I just didn't check it. And then I uploaded it and one of you commented on it and said, hey there's no commentary on this and I was like oh shit no <laughs> so I recorded three videos without sound so that was a good three hours wasted absolutely wasted anyways so you missed two episodes uh, and what I did was pretty much continue with the mining turtle and and the mining operation uh, and I'll just show you what I did so far okay so I made a few changes to the start harvest uh, Okay, so this is the way it is now. So while one is one, do so. This will keep doing it forever. Um, turtle select one, so it'll select the sapling that's in its inventory. It's gonna print it as well, just to give me feedback. Uh, and then it's gonna compare the thing that's in front of it with the thing that's in the first slot. So the way that works is. It's going to check what is in front of me. Is it a sapling? Is it the same as this? So a sapling. If it's not, then place a sapling. And then sleep a second because sometimes it doesn't work. So then you just have to wait a bit and then I was going to try it again. So once it's finally placed, it'll go out of this wall and print a waiting for the sapling to grow. Because then we know there's a sapling in front of us. Now we just have to wait till it's a tree. And oh. You don't know this either. So I decided against using bone meal. And this that's just because this will make it a lot easier, a lot simpler. And, you know, I'm not going to need that much wood, you know. And if this is running 24-7 with three saplings all the time, uh, with, you know, three mining turtles, there's really no need to speed the process up. So, here again, a while. While tur turtles are compare is true. So while the turtle sees that in front of it is a sapling, uh, it'll sleep for 10 seconds and then after 10 seconds it's going to check again. Is it still a sapling? Yes. Sleep again for 10 seconds until the tr uh, sapling grows and then it's not a sapling anymore and it'll get out of this while. Now after that while it'll print cutting the tree and then it, it runs the cut tree program which you already know about is very simple. After that, it's going to select every single slot it has and drop all the items. Now this is weird in Tekkit. It doesn't work in Tekkit the way it should be. Uh, it does work, however, in computer craft. So it's a bit weird. Ah, I had a drink. Nice. So I think that this has to do something with the port that I made from computer craft to ticket. Um, so what it's supposed to do is if you select the slot, say slot two, and then you say turtle.drop, it should drop all the items in slot two, but it doesn't do that it actually drops the first slot available. So it's a bit, it's a bit weird. Um, you know, but that's fine. So all this is, is not needed at the moment. Uh, just one or two turtle drops would do. But I kept it here anyways. So after that, um, we access the Redstone um, API. And you did it using RS for Redstone. Dot set output bottom is true. So what does this do? Now, if you put anything, sort of a redstone wire or red alloy wire from red power or even a redstone tube, uh, can anywhere connected to the um, mining turtle, it can actually turn it on and off. So that's what this does. So it turns it on for, a, for half a second. Well, actually, it turns it on, waits half a second, and then turns it off again. And why do I do that? Uh, because under here is a redstone tube that goes to this filter. And this filter gets two more saplings. So it gets two more saplings, puts it in the turtle, and then oh, whilst it's doing that, we sleep 
So wait for 10 seconds to make sure that the sapling actually arrives. And then we end the while. So it goes all the way back to the start and the whole process starts again. So it's again going to try and plant the sapling, etc. Uh, so that's the way, uh, that's uh, pretty much how far I got last time uh, in the f in episode 60. Uh, which this will be episode 60 as well, but you know. And then I made episode 61 where I made this system with transposers and there's a mosquito in my room, it's going to bite me so much. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, then I made this whole system with transposers. So anything that this mining turtle drops are all the saplings that fall from the sky. Uh, they're going to be picked up by these transposers. Now these transposers are completely messed up. They, they don't actually pick up the items properly. So I'm going to have to change that. And we might do that in this episode actually. Uh, but what we can do is... Go, get out of here. Exit. Start harvest. And it's going to say trying to plant sapling, but there's already sapling there. So it should, maybe, maybe not. Let's put some more in there. Just break this. And now it's planting a sapling. Waiting for sapling to grow. Oh, the tree. Huh. Should cut that. So if I just speed this process up, and it's going to take about 10 seconds because it waits for 10 seconds. And now it's going to start cutting it. And it'll say it as well if I could touch it. So, uh, hello, chicken. Hello, where are you coming from? An egg as well, nice. So it just dropped all the items and the transposer picked it up. Now it gave a retina signal, so there should be a sapling. There it is, coming right in. And after about a few more seconds, it's going to plant the sapling again and start the whole thing all over again. Pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty cool, yeah. Uh, so that works. So this is getting more saplings slowly. And the way I'm going to set it up is that all the saplings will stay in here. So eventually it'll be full, but that's fine. And all the wood will be pulled out straight away into the main sorting system. And the same with this one and the same with that one. Uh, now I just want to... Oh, I didn't want to do that actually. Did I pick it up? I think one of the... Uh, might, might be in here actually. Yeah, there we go. Uh, now, I'm not sure if I showed you how to do this. This might be in episode 60 as well. I'm sorry for that, guys. So I made a disk drive, which is cooked stone and redstone. And I also made a floppy disk, which I'm not sure why I can't seem to. Uh, anyways, flop. Floppy disk, paper, redstone. Yep, cool. So the way this works is you can put a mining tool down, for example. Let's get rid of this sapling. Uh, put a disk drive next to it. Put a disk in the disk drive. And I put the program on this disk. So the cutting ha uh, cutting the tree and the start harvest one is on this disk. So what you can do then is CD, just like you would in DOS or even Linux, this works. You go CD disk. LS to see what is on there. You can see cut tree in and start harvest. So we do copy cut tree to slash, which means to the mining turtle. And also start harvest. Oh, harvest to slash. Perfect. Uh, so now this will have all the items in it again. Cool. Uh, okay, so my program does require to have two saplings at start. So I need one more. <laughs> There's a disk drive in there. Uh, actually, I should keep all that in there except for one. Okay. Oh, whoopsie. I'm messing it up. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of this dumb tree. Oh, these cables. Now, I made this last time, and it's actually good that maybe the whole episode broke down because um, something was not working properly. I'm not sure exactly. Get the. Thank you. Um, oh, that might have been my chicken, actually. Eh, whatever. It's only a chicken. Who cares about chickens? One extra in there. And put a... Oh, there's already two in there. Good. Good, good, good. Is there enough saplings in here? Loot ball? Uh. <laughs> that was weird. I'll add some extra saplings to this just in case. Now, 
There's another loot ball. Does it actually, like, give me items? Yeah, it does. Okay, that's weird. That is a bit weird. Anyways. Uh, so these transposers are not right. Because what happens is, and you can see it here, these it doesn't have tubes connected to it. This tree grows, and if there's leaves here, they actually break the tubes. Bad news, bad news, bad news. Not good, not good. Uh, so I fixed one side of it here by just putting the transposers here so they work. Uh, that's all fine and dandy. I don't have to change that part of it. Uh, and then I was thinking maybe we can have... Hmm. See, it's a bit tricky because um, transposers don't actually get items from too far. But maybe we can do this. Uh, where's my transpose? Oh, there's filters. No, I don't need filters. I need transposers. There we go. Uh, let's put some in the floor here. One in the floor here. And one in the floor... Well, we don't actually need one here, I think. That might be enough. This will pick up items still here or here. I'm actually not sure. Anyways, I think this will do. Redstone tube. Let's connect all these up. Oh. Now, wink, wink, wink. And that will have to go... Let's just do it like this for now. Nice and ugly. <laughs> uh, so that will work much better, I think. Okay, let's close it up. Let's close this up as well. It's, it's horrible. Oh. <laughs> there's cobble and there's marble and there's stone and there's some wood somewhere as well on the floor I think Well, maybe not maybe I'll remove that anyways uh, yeah so now this seems to be in a bit of a weird position as well because if stuff drops on top of it it's not gonna be picked up so that's not good not good not good so let's remove all these and this one is not too bad, but we'll remove that as well, just in case. Oh, there's a tube under here. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's remove these as well. Let's remove these as well. Now, apart from this, what also happened was uh, episode 61, which uh, will be the next episode, but say 61 I already recorded. Uh, I was here and I, had, I didn't have enough transposers, so I went upstairs. And whilst I was going upstairs, I came here. Uh, so this is in my basement, by the way. Oh, that's not the way out. I'll help, I'm lost. Uh, <laughs> uh, here. Uh, this is next to my cobblestone generator, by the way. So I came up here, and there's a creeper waiting here. I didn't see it on time. Bang! All this was gone. All my sorting machines, Mac tubes, accelerators, all these tubes here. Um, some of these collars were gone. It was, and it, trust me, it is a pain to remake this and all the collars and stuff. But, you know, I did it. It's all done now. So, <laughs> Cool. Uh, so, let's see. This will pick up items still here, I think. So, we need actually... Uh, that's kind of crappy. Hmm. Well, we can put one here. Yeah, that'll work. Just just right next to the tree. That will do most of the work. Because most of the wood and stuff will drop right here. So that will do most of the work. Now, if items drop here, am I too bothered about it? Mm, nah, whatever. We not we might not pick up all the items that fall, but that's... I'm willing to live with that. Yeah, I am. Okay, so we put another transposer here. Now, the main reason for that is that the middle one, like this one, has one, two, three, four, five transposers. But the middle one will have only one, two, three, maybe. Yeah, three, probably. So, it, it can use a, a few extra. So, let's put a transposer here just in case anything drops. And then we also put one here. I don't think it matters if we have too many. 
I might even add more later on. Like I might make the whole floor transposers just to make sure we don't miss any um, any items that drop. Okay, so that's done as well. Oh, this is the most beautiful factory floor I ever made. Isn't it? Oh, I think so. Now, if items drop... Can I drop here, maybe? Should I add one here? So, yeah, why not? Okay. I might as well, you know, just in case. Uh, so, I'm not going to have enough transposers, but that's fine. So, these were not too bad, actually. I didn't mind them. They did that job pretty well, I think. Uh, and actually, I do want to have one here. And now, have one left. Where should I put that? Here, maybe. I'm just doing it random. No, not there. That's a pain to manage. Um, uh, yeah, why here, maybe? Yeah, why not? Who cares? <laughs> it's not going to win the award for beauty, but uh, I think it'll work. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah. No, don't go in there. Yoink. Did I put one in the floor? No, this one is connected to the middle, so it's only those. Uh, so these can go straight into here, pretty much. Like that. Now, are they all connected to the timer? Yes, they are. Cool. So I think we can start. Phew. Let's see if it works. Start. Harvest. Go. Planted sapling. Oh, yeah. Start. Harvest. Oh, yeah. Start. Harvest. Oh, yeah. So now we can speed the process up a bit by using some bone meal just to test it, you know. One. There might not be enough light here. Let's put some extra light up. So that worked. Tree, tree. Uh, yeah, I think this will work pretty well. Now, there's a sapling already there that fell on top of that transposer. Um, I'm not going to do anything with that. That's fine. I don't care about that. Nice. That's working pretty well, actually. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Why are you not picking it up? You are connected properly. Are you? It's not giving me any signal. Why is that not working? Are these not working at all? Did I not connect this? No, I didn't. Wow, I'm such an idiot. Where did I connect it to? Oh, no, don't connect it to that. <sighs> Sometimes I doubt myself. With good reason, I think. <laughs> Okay, that's better, that should work now. Gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, so all these leaves are going to drop because these saplings need time to grow anyways. So by the time these grow into trees, all these saplings will fall. Um, and some will fall on this, but I don't mind really. I think we'll get enough saplings anyway. So why is this still not being picked up? Why is that not being picked up? It should be. Transpose is working. Oh, there we go. It's just a bit weird sometimes. It's not picking it up, but then suddenly it is. I'll pick it up. Oh, wait. It's just a bug on my side. Never mind. Uh, so, all these um, saplings that fall will be dropped back in these chests. So, one for each. And eventually this chest will overflow, although it takes ages. Um, and the wood will be pulled out by filter on the back or on the bottom, doesn't matter, of course. And if there's any more filters, uh, sorry, saplings, I'll put a restriction tube here so that it'll never go there unless this chest is full. And the restriction tube will go straight into the sorting facility as well. So that is the uh, major plan for the whole tree cutting facility thing, thingamajiggy. 
So I, I caught you up on two episodes in one episode. So unlucky you, I guess. <laughs> and next episode, I guess we'll make this. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll fix all this to. Oh God, we should fix that. Uh, we'll connect all this to the um, sorting facility. Yes, that's what we'll do with Mac tubes and all that good stuff. So thanks for watching. Sorry you haven't had an episode for two days. Uh, that's just because my computer was being complete ass. But episodes will continue as normal from now on. So I'll see you guys next time.